Okay, so I haven't done any form of reaction video in literal years. Like, I don't even know if reaction videos are still a thing, but I saw a comment on my recent video and it was like the top comment. And they said, why don't you react and give some advice on like your first Tinder date videos and like rewatch them, share with us, and give us your opinions on rewatching your Tinder date videos. I go back and watch videos of mine all the time. And let me tell you, it's never those, okay? It is never those. I really have not watched this since I first created it. And I'm not joking at all. We are gonna rewatch my very first worst Tinder dates video together and we are gonna react to it And if there is any advice I have from it, I will definitely give you that and then if you guys like this Give it a thumbs up I will keep doing videos like this and reacting to all my old crazy videos about my worst dates worst Tinder dates worst experiences And just the craziness that was my life as a younger woman Okay. All right, let's get started. There's just so many. Should I react to other ones? I'm like nervous, like low, low key. So we're going to do my worst Tinder dates video ever, this blue one. And it was eight years ago, September 4th, 2015. That's actually insanity. Literally almost 10 years ago. I'm almost like debating if I should sit down for this video, but I think we're just going to go for it. <laughs> intros in the beginning and I was obsessed with Kehlani. I would listen to Kehlani like every time on the way or back from like a Tinder date. I loved Kehlani so much. I still do. Her music is actually amazing. My intro was badass, you guys. Hey guys, what's up? I thought it would be a fabulous idea um, because I also have a video about reading my creepy Tinder messages, which you can go check out on my channel. Um, I thought I'd kind of continue this whole Tinder thing and um, let you guys in on four of my absolute worst four. Tinder dates. <laughs> and let me just tell you, there's probably been more than four really bad Tinder dates. There definitely was. So that's very unfortunate. Um, so I'm just gonna tell you like the basics of what happened um, for the four times that I can think of right now. Date number one. I don't know what's about to happen, you guys, and I'm genuinely nervous. Four different dates I shared in one video. That just tells you how many dates I was actually going on. I met so many guys, and like, I pulled. Like, I pulled. Obviously, they were probably just trying to get into my pants, and I think at this age and like at this place in my life, I can realize a lot of guys don't value you or even really probably think you're that great. They probably don't even have to be attracted to you to go on a date with you just to try to get in your pants, and I feel like I took that as like, oh, he really likes me, and I would get confused. Obviously, as a young girl, you're going to get confused about that. Why are you even spending your time on me if you don't like me? But a lot of times, the guys really don't give a F, and you kind of just have to use your discernment with that and not give your time to people that are looking immediately trying to get into your pants ghosting you not giving you a clear do they like you or not just using you like those guys don't like you they're just trying to get something out of you and they'll do anything to kind of get that you know like they'll take you on a date they'll hang out with you in a parking lot like no no i feel like there was very few times i was taken out on actual dates but i was taken out on so many bad ones and like just people trying to use me or just like go to their house and like i didn't like see how good the good guys taking me out on dates actually were because all i really knew was like guys being shitty to me but there was a lot of times i was taken out on real dates but i guarantee you i'm telling you a story in here about going to a guy's house and sneaking in because I'm pretty sure that one's in here. You know what? I'm not going to use real names. So a couple months ago, I was in Newport Beach visiting my best friend. Um, we hung out in OC. We did our thing. And then after I hung out with my best friend. So I lived in San Diego at this time. Obviously, I'm from San Diego. I lived there my whole entire life and while filming this. But I would come up to Orange County all the time. Like, I knew I was going to live up here at some point my entire life. Friend, it was probably like 10.30. Um, I had wanted to meet this guy for a while, and uh, we'd been talking for a while, um, and he lived in Newport Beach, or I think so, yeah. So I was there, he invited me to come over, and so I was like, you know what, I've always wanted to meet this guy, like, sure, why not? So I'm just looking back on this and just being like, what the... Like, this is me? What were you thinking? This is me. And so I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'll go. Because I'm in Newport Beach. My home is in San Diego. That's like an hour and a half drive. Like, do I want to drive that at midnight? So um, I got done hanging out with my best friend. I dropped her back off. And I headed to his house. So um, his dad was home at the time. And he didn't know that I was coming, obviously. So that wasn't a red flag. That his dad didn't even know you were coming. He had to sneak you in. As if you didn't exist because he was probably embarrassed of you or just using you like every other girl he probably calls over every night. But I really thought something was gonna happen with this guy. Don't do that, okay? Literally learn from me. 
he does not care and he will not be your boyfriend um he like snuck me in through the front door and i just like went into his room and i just like it's very awkward don't get yourself into that situation like it's i have horrible. a rule i will not go to anybody's house on the first date oh, yeah. no netflix and chill we're not hanging out at you your house we're not hanging out in your room and i won't even hang out with you past nine so that's like my dating rule right now honestly i think it's like a pretty good rule to follow because um you can kind of assure their intentions so I like sit down in his room and I'm feeling awkward like you know the first time you're meeting someone shouldn't be in their room and like their house so I hate that that's awkward I don't like it so just kind of like felt awkward I was just like chilling and then he started to make it less awkward he was really talkative he had a really good personality like he was really sweet um so I was like okay he was definitely on drugs because I will go on to say that and he was like so fun he was so talkative and he was so crazy because he was literally on coke and I thought he was just like the best thing ever because he was on coke okay like uh, this is fine I'm just gonna hang out here I'm not worried he's not a creep or anything like that um so he started kind of like getting really deep so he was like very like deep and and like poetic and like very yes. very interesting like he really seemed like he was like into me and so i was like kind of like opening up to him we were getting to know each other just like chilling in his room nothing is going down nothing like that nothing bad um nothing bad i meant no like sexual stuff <laughs> and then he starts smoking which i don't have an issue with like do what you want to do with smoking that's fine i'm like okay he offers me some i declined it i'm just sitting there so he's doing his thing and he's like going hardcore at it and i'm like all right so this guy is is a stoner all right and so the conversation goes kind of weird and then he's like so uh would you think bad of me would you think like different of me if um i went to go do cocaine right now in the bathroom <laughs> And I like honestly, and this was before my rave era, okay? I didn't know how much people actually do do this stuff. That was truly shocking, and that's so ridiculous. And I'm telling you, he was like, he could have been like a male model. Like, there was multiple male models I would hang out with. And I just, maybe I'm being harsh on myself. Like, I was cute, but like, I was not it. Like, I was not that. And like, they would hang out with me. Sometimes multiple times. Maybe I'm just seeing myself in a different light because I didn't really love myself in these eras. But like, I was not it to be like hanging out with these guys. But at the end of the day, yeah, they could be attractive, but they're doing cocaine in the bathroom and inviting you to sneak into their house. So they're not good guys. I didn't know what to say. Like, what do you say to that? When you're already kind of stuck in this guy's house and it's like two in the morning and I was just like, what? Why? Like, what? The first time you're meeting me, you're going to do this? Like, you really think... I'm okay with that like very very weird so apparently he's been doing this drug for a while and um, <laughs> no. he was like yeah I just have a little bit left and I don't want to waste it like I promise I'll never do it again after this like I'm just gonna go do it right now this is my last little bit and I'll never do it again <laughs> I promise and I'm like first of all like why are you promising I don't care if you do it again because I'm probably never gonna see you again so she was self-aware <laughs> So basically the whole night I just listened to him in the bathroom snorting and I was just in his room like get me out of here and he couldn't stop like like sniffling the whole night it was just like gross terrible date that's not even a date it's not a date it was just awful I don't know what it was and this I is so real that you guys date was the college party story oh god so basically I had met this guy on tinder and I had met his two friends about a week prior and oh, we had god. hung out and I went to a party at their house. Um, so this guy decided oh, wow. that he wanted to hang out with me. So he invited me over to his house to go to a big party down at the college that he went to because he goes to like a really like popular and big college like down where I live. SDSU, that was debatably the worst date I've ever been on because it was really scary. He was calling me names. He was like yelling over me. It was really, really bad. I ran out of the house. I had to have somebody come drive me home because I wasn't okay, but I had to go sit in my car and like protect myself. It was insane just because I didn't want to basically have sex and like come hang out with him and I was being very distant because I was also still in love with the guy I was seeing before. I was like genuinely like make a show about me like give me a tv show at that era because i was insane i was having the time of my life to be honest <laughs> 
um, and they always have like really crazy parties there so I was like you know what sure I love to meet new people and I was in party mode so I agreed to go to his house <laughs> and I got there on a Friday night and I went inside and he had this huge bottle of alcohol and he was just like pouring me drink after drink like trying to get me really drunk mm -hmm. um, very very strange I had some very bad warning signs previous to like what happened later in the night um that i should have like realized so basically he's like he's getting super drunk himself he's trying to get me really drunk i'm just a little bit tipsy and at this point when we're hanging out at his house we're already like fighting like we're arguing we're like getting along i was like not afraid to like start shit like I was not afraid to be completely honest about how I felt and that's just how I am in general honestly like I probably put myself in dangerous positions because I didn't know how to wash my mouth so very possible pretty well for the most part though and then um instead of going to this party which was the reason that I came he was like no let's just hang out in my house like come sit down like let's just stay here yeah. and I'm like okay I know you have an ulterior motive like what do you want to do if we stay at your house you know like obviously he's thinking something bad and I'm like no, not. I keep saying bad for sexual stuff, like chill out. Down for that in my head, I just want to go to the party and then eventually get out of here because I'm not into him. Like, I'm just not really attracted to him. He wasn't bad looking or anything. I just, like, wasn't into him or his personality. He was kind of weird to me. He's an um, awful person. So we end up walking down to this party and um, he starts, like, introducing me to all these people and I'm meeting all these people. So I'm kind of, like, sticking by his side because I don't know anyone. I'm pretty sure this is why I made my final decision as to why I wanted to go home um, because he started to introduce me to people as his girlfriend if I remember correctly mm -hmm. and that was just kind of like my oh nope gotta go so I ended up starting to text this guy that I still had feelings for that I was dating previously I was still in love with him I wanted an prior. excuse um, and I was <laughs> like please can pick me up like you have to save me this is awful this guy is making me really uncomfortable um, the manipulation so I was texting this guy because I still had feelings for him at the time, you know, like I wanted him to come get me, I wanted him to save me, whatever. Yeah. So um, I was texting this guy nonstop. So my Tinder date, who the creepy Tinder date who I'm with, um, is getting really, really mad at me, and he's like cussing at me, just getting really mad that I was on my phone, like telling me to get off my phone, like what am I doing, like pay attention to him. And then he ended up holding my hand on the way back to his house after the party, and I was super uncomfortable, like literally holding his hand and texting on my other hand, like awkward. So we get to his house, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go to the backyard, I need to, you know, get some fresh air, whatever, excuse, mm -hmm. um, because he was trying to get me back into his room. There's a lot of things in life I don't remember, and a lot of experiences and dates and things and names I don't remember, but I remember this so vividly. Into his bed, and I was like, never, no. And then um, my the awful Tinder date comes outside, and he's like, Olivia, what are you doing? You think I'm just like another Tinder guy? Like I really just want to get to know you. Like I'm not trying to get in your I mean, pants. Fuck him, but like. And um, uh, it wasn't relevant at this point. Like who knows if he genuinely in the beginning did have good intentions. Um, it was just very awkward because I was like not feeling it, and like I couldn't tell if he was being real or not. So I was just kind of like brushing it off and kept texting this guy. And at this point, the next thing I know is I am laying down, like, I'm on the kitchen floor on my back, and he's, like, standing over me, yelling at me, and we're yelling about something that I can't remember, but all I remember I do is the last thing that I said was, okay, fine, I'll just leave then. So that was, like, my out, because I'm very, like, uncomfortable with trying mm -hmm. to get out of That's certain bad. situations, like... I don't know how to make excuses, I don't know how to like say no, like I'm very very awkward that way, but that's really bad. So I get up to walk out and he's like, fine, and he's like chasing me out of his house, yelling at me, cussing at me, calling me names, like straight up verbal abuse, like straight up, like wouldn't stop cussing, was yelling at 2.30 in the morning, was like kicking me out of his house, like calling me all the bad names, like any bad name you can think of, he was calling me. So I was embarrassed probably at this time because I was still overweight during this era. 
and he called me a whale or something. There was times I would try to make myself look skinnier than I really was. Photos, you can kind of try to hide it a little bit, you know? And I feel like I did back then. Yeah, he basically said like, you're not even that hot, like you're a whale. I think he called me a whale. I think specifically that's what it was. So yeah, and that happened to me with another Tinder date. Two of them were like really mean. I think that was like the meanest people ever got was like two of my San Diego Tinder dates, so bad. Um, and I was leaving his house. And so I walk out and I'm cr I start crying and he slams the door and I can just hear him for the next like two minutes inside the house like screaming and yelling and just like calling me names. He was awful. He ended up texting me like meanly like a couple minutes later and I just like ignored it and I was just trying to find a ride home because I knew I wasn't going to like drink and drive. Like I wasn't fully there yet. Um, so I, I didn't know what to do so I sat in my car until the guy who I was texting the whole time did come and get me. So thank you for that. You know who you are. Oh. As if he's watching the video. But yeah, moral of this story was that the guy that I was talking to and texting the whole time that I was really into, but he like kind of broke it off and like started seeing this other girl. He came to get me, I think with his mom. And I think I rode back with his mom to my dad's and then he drove my car or something happened like that. And then I, that was really nice of them. Like I'll never forget that. Like that was, I really did need a ride because I couldn't drive that lit and there was no way else for me to get home. Like there was times I put myself in situations like that, even if it was like on accident, like obviously I didn't expect for this to happen or to get that lit, that I could have like slept in my car. Like I could have gotten kidnapped. Like I did some sketchy stuff. Like do not do this. Always have a ride home or like a backup or just like Uber. I don't even think Uber was like a thing at this time i don't know maybe it was anyway date number three and four are very similar i had been dating this guy at the beginning of this year he wasn't my official boyfriend or anything we were just like hanging out a couple times a week um so i was hanging out with him one night and we had just gone to dinner so we went back to my street and we parked like right where this park is um and there's always like a line of cars at this park so i guess i like never really realized that this is like a spot that people go to like smoke or like do drugs or, or do other things in the car you know I don't know so we parked there and we're just like sitting and talking and hanging out and then um I think this is one of like our first few dates oh um and I don't even remember if we kissed yet um so we're like sitting in his car and then he kissed me and this is super awkward to like talk about on camera I don't like to talk about this nothing bad happened but like you know we were like kissing so it was January and it was like super cold outside and um, obviously like if you're inside like a car, like a small car, like if you're bringing up any perspiration, um, it's going to make the car fog up with the cold outside and the hot inside. Oh, that was so bad. So we didn't really realize it, but apparently the whole car was just like covered. I'm trying to remember, but I think I was a little nervous at this time. I think we did kind of get hot and heavy and like we were doing stuff, but it wasn't like at all to that level. I don't quite remember. I might have kind of left that out and just acted like we were making out if I remember correctly and if this is the one I'm thinking of. In like fog, like the whole car was cloudy. We see this huge light pull up behind us. Like it looked like a straight up like stadium light, like boom into our car. Like you could see everything. And we just knew at that moment, we're like, this is the police. Like, oh no. But like, what do you want? Like, we're not doing anything wrong. Like, it's just awkward. Like, you're catching us like making out. Like, that's super <laughs> awkward. So he shines his flashlight. Don't um, you what I say? I never ever lied about a story or made things up, but I definitely left out details. In this guy's door. And he starts questioning us like crazy, like, where do you live? Like, all this stuff. But he's actually kind of nice. It was just like a really awkward situation and a really... He just wanted to screw with us. <laughs> he just wanted to mess with us. Awkward date. Um, he was just like asking for our ID and stuff. And then he was like, just so you guys know, like, this is the place, like, where people go to smoke and, like, do bad things. That's really all that story was. We just got caught by the cops being a little dirty nasty in the back. I drove about 40 minutes to pick up my fourth date, and I picked oh, yeah. him up from his friend's house. And, um, I had noticed that he had, like, a huge backpack with him, um, and I thought that was... He was like the definition of like a stoner, like, hey, can you drive me everywhere? Like, I know a secret spot. Like, he was not the vibe. Very strange, but I honestly didn't really think about it. So we decided to go to Starbucks and get a drink and then um, go find a lookout spot. 
So he directed me to this lookout spot, which is, it's like you go up kind of high and you're on top of like a mountain, and then you can see the whole city of like whatever city you're in. Um, so we go up this like literally vertical mountain road. It was so scary because I was driving it. Um, and so we get there, and I didn't think about it, but it ended up being private property, and you're not supposed to be there, it's trespassing. <laughs> so um, we are just sitting up there like hanging out. And, I love my girl. Uh, we've been hanging I'm out for like three hours at this point. Myself. He was smoking, whatever he wanted to do. I, you guys, I don't do this anymore. I don't date guys like that. I don't date younger guys. <laughs> I don't date younger guys. Sebastian is literally two years younger than me. So silly. I feel like girls that like push off guys that are younger than them, you're losing a whole category of guys that can be amazing for you. Just because their age doesn't really mean much as long as it's legal. I, on our first date, is just gonna be smoking and doing drugs. Like, that's just awful. That is not the kind of guy that I want. Basically, he had been smoking. I was just chilling, talking to him. I was not into it. Like, it was not like a date date. This was not gonna be my boyfriend or anything like that. Like, he was just a guy to chill with. Um, so basically, he had been smoking, but, um, so he had that in his backpack. So, um, we're chilling up there, and then we see, like, these lights pull up, and I'm just thinking to myself, go again. Like, who else would come up here? I had a feeling it was the police. So, lo and behold, once again, a light comes through the window, and this guy is so nervous. His voice is shaking, he's, like, sweating. He's so nervous and awkward because he knows what he has in his backpack, and, and he's currently not in the right state of mind he's not currently sober so um he's freaking out i'm like great i'm gonna get busted for this guy i don't even like this guy i don't know this terrible guy. he's not worth it like i'm not trying to get busted with him i was like a baddie let's be real like i'm just sitting here like i don't even like him like i don't even like you like i'm not attracted to you even though you're calling me your girlfriend at the party at stsu like why why did i think i was like the hottest shit ever so like pissed but I was, I was trying to be nice to the officer um so he was asking all of our information like where we went to school for our ids like what our names were what we were doing and then he informed us that it was private property and that we were trespassing and in my mind i was just like please like let us go let's get down the hill i was so and then nervous for some bro. reason i guess we were acting suspicious because we were nervous so the cop asks my date first he goes is there anything in this car that you're not supposed to have in here we both know that there are was... drugs in his backpack. Drugs. And he goes, no. And then oh, the cop asked me and that. I started freaking out. And I'm like, not that I know of. <laughs> that I was a good answer. Not that I know of because I was super scared. Because I'm not trying to get busted with him. But also, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> I feel like you should have just said no. Not that I know of. I mean, but honestly, like, that guy is not worth me getting in trouble. Like, I don't know him. Like, that's not fair. Like, this is not my fault. I'm just on a crappy Tinder date, officer. Please don't arrest me. Like, I don't... He's... Uh, goodbye. Like, kick him out of the car. Arrest him. Don't arrest me. So mean. I was, like, literally freaking out. He said, okay, guys, step out of the car. Yeah. And at that moment, yeah. I knew I was going to jail. I knew I was <laughs> going to die. I knew the world was going to end. I knew everything was done. And I was I literally so angry at this date i was so mad i was like why did i do this why did i come here mm -hmm. so the cop has us sit on the front of my car and i'm like awesome my car is being searched currently um he's gonna get busted and since he has Ooh. stuff i'm probably gonna get busted <laughs> there's obviously nothing else in my car i didn't have any bad substances in there like alcohol drugs nothing like that nothing on my part but on his part there was so um, I'm freaking out. I know we're about to be busted. He knows. He's not saying anything. It's just awkward between us. And then the cop comes up and he says, okay, guys, drive safe. Have a good night. What? Oh, my God. I just wanted to get out of there. We, I drove down there as fast as we could. I was we got so our thankful. Again. I dropped him off. Peace out. Done. Never again. Fourth worst date. Almost got arrested by... So yeah, that is pretty much it. Those were my first four terrible Tinder dates that I shared on the internet. I don't really have much to say about that. Like, I could give you advice of the obvious. Obviously, don't go to a guy's house super late and he doesn't plan anything and he's just trying to get into your pants and then think that's going to be your husband. And maybe he is. There is always a chance that... You could hook up with someone on the first day. You could go to the house just for a hookup and then you guys fall in love. Like, that's very much a real thing. So, like, I wouldn't even say 
you know, don't do those things. Like, do whatever feels right to you and the person at the time, but just don't let anybody use you. And if you know you're, like, consistently being used and nothing's happening, then, like, okay, maybe that's not a good person that you should be hanging out with and expecting a relationship out of. Because I know a lot of time, us girls, we want a relationship. We want to get married. We want kids. We want the guy. But then the guys just kind of want to, like, play the field and do their thing. Like, that is a very common thing especially these days you know use your discernment with that but like i don't really have much to say about that because like i was young and dumb like i went on a tinder date with a guy that didn't have a car was smoking weed in my car trespassing like i was a kid like i was probably what i think i was 19 or 18 there like you're gonna make mistakes at that age and you have to learn and grow like you have to go through those things of course you can watch my videos and watch my reaction to it and take advice from that with like the guy that kicked me out of his house because i didn't want to like come hang out with him but like I get it I was being rude too like you can look back at situations and be like okay this is what I did wrong this is what I could have done differently and made it better yeah he was really rude to do that and screwed up and like screwed up to call me those names and like push me out of the house when I was super drunk but I didn't have to be like calling my ex he wasn't even technically my ex but like kind of pretty much while I was at his house like I get it that's really disrespectful like I wouldn't like if I was single and dating at this age I would never do anything like that so just have respect for everyone that you go on a date with be respectful don't take disrespect though don't deal with shitty people yeah i don't really have much dating advice because i've been out of the game for so long but like that was really fun to watch and react to and just like recall everything in my head and yeah that was just like kind of a lot of fun so let me know if you guys want me to do more of those so thank you so much for watching do not forget to subscribe to my channel turn on my notifications follow me on instagram twitter all the good things and i will see your lovely beautiful faces in my next video bye guys